And then the third Kennedy case that I was involved in, Mary Jo Kopechny with Senator Ted Kennedy. Mary Jo Kopechny was a young, attractive secretary. They were having this big party, a big celebration um, up at, um, um, and at um, um, Chappaquiddick. And Senator left with Mary Jo Kopechny. And um, the next morning, a car is found submerged in Polka Pond and a body's in the car. I told you the first state to adopt the medical examiner system was Co Commonwealth of Massachusetts in 1877. 92 years later, 1969, 92 years later, a doctor with the fancy title of deputy medical examiner standing there with a car submerged in the water with a body of an unidentified young woman made the decision that it was not necessary to do an autopsy. And no autopsy was ever done on Mary Jo Kopechny. I testified there, consulted by the district attorney. The body was now buried in Wilkes-Barre, Luzerne County, Pennsylvania. Parents were adamantly opposed. And, and I was there for the district attorney to try to explain what could still be learned and so on and so forth. And the judge was a wonderful guy. And he made a decision which I know legally was correct. It, I was disappointed um, selfishly, egotistically, uh, wanting to do this autopsy, which I was going to do. Um, but the family was opposed. No formal charges had been filed against anybody. And the judge said there was no basis to dig up the body. And so Mary Jo Kopechny was never examined. So you see, in these three Kennedy cases, that's a, a, a lesson for all of you in forensic science in and of itself. John F. Kennedy, autopsy bungled by people who have never done a forensic autopsy in their lives. <clears throat> Senator Robert Kennedy, great autopsy, fantastic autopsy by Tom Degushi, but the results were never, never introduced into court. The defense attorney only used a forensic psychiatrist to determine whether or not Sirhan Sirhan was legally insane, never called a forensic pathologist, a criminalist, a ballistics expert. No such evidence was ever introduced. And Mary Jo Kopechny, no autopsy was ever done.